Hi everybody, it's Tamara from Etc. Eyes. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I have another flip through of a journal that I made uh, just this past week. Um, and uh, I'm going to try um, to um, not move around too, too much. So if you want to see some close-ups, uh, you can just zoom in or uh, come over to my Instagram and I'll probably have some uh, photos up that are a little bit closer. Um, I just watched through a, a recording I did of this and uh, I made myself a little motion sick. So <laughs> I'm going to try really hard not to, to move the book too much. Um, so I live in um, the middle of Canada, pretty much right smack dab in the middle. And um, it is cold here already. I am really chilly <laughs> and uh, most of the birds have flown south already and um, so as a little homage to all those pretty uh, little creatures and their songs that I'm not going to hear for probably a good seven or eight months now um, that's this book is um, sort of an ode to birds um, and you can see I've done things a little bit differently than I normally do a little bit of a different style. Um, I was on Pinterest uh, not too long ago and I came across this gorgeous picture and I was very inspired to do something similar and that is from the featherednest.blogspot.com. So, uh, so this is what I came up with. Um, this is, it's quite a small book um, and it's only two signatures but you can see it's sort of it's full, it's got a lot in there, uh, and I used my French novel and I just tore up the pages and then I decoupaged them onto the book. And I know a lot of people say they don't like to use Mod Podge, but that's what I used. And um, lots of people say that it stays tacky and um, sticky afterwards, but I don't have that problem for whatever reason. It's perfectly dry and it's not sticky at all. So. Um, so that's what I used. Um, something else that's a little bit different that I tried, uh, I was rummaging around in my craft drawers this morning to see what else I had that I haven't used yet, <laughs> and I came across these gorgeous metal uh, corners. And they're supposed to be used when you're making a box, but uh, I thought I'd try them out. And you just bend them around with some pliers, and I put a little glue underneath and um, I thought they turned out really pretty. So it's just a ribbon closure on the side here. And so let's take a look inside. Um, the inside cover, this is some beautiful paper from a package I just bought from Michaels recently. It was a recollections package. Uh, and I do have um, a flip through of all the papers on that on my Instagram and I'm etc. over there as well so if you want to take a look at all the papers in this pack you can go and take a look over there. Um, I used the same um, craft paper cover for my signatures with a little scalloped pocket on the inside um, but on this one I tried a little bit of stenciling and I was watching um, Deli Girl 1961 on YouTube um, and I love all of her videos. She's, uh, if anybody out there is doing junk journalism, then I'm sure you know her and have watched her stuff because she's got some great content and lots of tips and tricks and beautiful journals that she makes and um, and she's a fellow Canadian so <laughs> so I like to watch her and she had a great video all about stenciling and she really opened my eyes to different techniques and different things to try so um, I did some layering of stencils I moved the stencil around I took it off the page and I tried different um, you know some parts are really light and some is a little darker so so that was fun and so I tried doing some different stenciling throughout and then we've got a little tab up here and then um, all of the tags um, I got are uh, again I was on Pinterest of course and um, these ones were from lilac and lavender blog spot blog .com. and um, so I went to that blog and I printed them out 
and I just sewed them onto some coffee stain paper and then some of them have some embellishments at the bottom this is some fuzzy uh, upholstery fabric and then I made my own little um, protectors and sewed them all together and then a uh, little corner tab here uh, just for something add something a little interesting and some of you will recognize some of the papers that are in here because I've used them in other journals but I'm just trying to use what I got because I got way too much <laughs> um, and then this is from the crafting newspaper that I like to collect and use and this is a little pocket and nice big tab or tag sorry and then this is some gorgeous uh, handmade paper that I didn't make but it's been languishing in my uh, paper pile for quite a while so I thought I'm gonna use that up um, it goes with the color and then I think it looks like all the stuff a little bird would use in their nest probably <laughs> Um, and then I was out thrifting not too long ago and I came across all kinds of books uh, full of ledger paper, different colors and styles and most of it was all blank and I got them for 10 cents a book and so um, I was very happy with that find. And then uh, this is just um, when I scalloped the edge of some paper, I had this tiny little strip left over and um, for some crazy reason, I didn't throw it out, <laughs> so I sewed it onto the edge of this little slip. Um, and then uh, this is a paper bag, and it's really crinkly and loud, so hold on while I open this up. There you go. Um, just gorgeous. And um, some more graph paper, and this is the other side, and then this side is open as well, of course and sewed some of that paper from the inside of the cover onto the edge. A little flip, another little flip. And what else do we have here? A lot of this is just the other, the same, because it's the other side of the signature. Nothing too new. Oh, here's another tag, a little washi tape on the bottom. And then um, a little bit more of the stenciling. Another little tab there. And a cute little bingo card. And I have a little bird stamp. So I got a bingo. Bingo of birds right down the center there. And line paper. This is an envelope where I've just uh, embellished it a little bit. There's another tag in here. Pretty, more pretty birds. That's some handmade paper that I, I did make that one. And this is another one of those tags, but it's giant size, and I thought that would be fun to use as uh, like a bookmark. So it's got the French novel on the back and some washi tape at the bottom there. And there's a little bird stamp and some more stenciling. And um, I don't normally do little a lot of little tuck spots, but I really like how this one turned out. And it's got a nice little scalloped edge, and I sewed that on, and then it's just a nice little place to tuck that in. And a doily, and I bet you were wondering where the butterflies were going to be. Because <laughs> I almost always include a butterfly somewhere in my projects. So um, they're just here dangling off of the, the, binding, the binding string. And um, there's some a little bit of paper sewn onto the side of that one. That's the piece of uh, the bottom of that bag that I cut off. I just added it to the side of another page. Some more bird stamped. That flips out. And this little corners are punched out. And then um, I just love... Uh, envelope when once it's embellished I think they're so pretty um, so this one has lots of different birds all over it and then it's got um, um, I guess it's like a little postcard I don't know what I would use it for I guess you could journal on the back or you could put a little picture or something like that on the back and it's got 
Uh, I've sewn a little bit of salvage on there for um, some texture. And what else do we have here? Just about the end. We've got oh, a couple more tags here that also have some fabric salvage on the bottoms and it's just coffee stain on the back. And then that's the end. That's the back. And the back is the same as the front. And oh, I should mention um, on the inside cover, I just used some muslin and um, I glued that in just to strengthen up the, the spine a little bit because it felt like it was a little bit weak. And then the back is just um, plain, if you could if you could say that that's plain. <laughs> so there you go. That's my bird journal. So um, if you uh, want to come and see more of my projects and stay up to date, come over to Instagram because that's where I post most often. And uh, I'm trying to post here a little more often. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button for all the flip throughs of the journals and other projects that I do. So um, thank you so much for coming by and watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.